So now we're moving on to how can we begin to experiment like we did with the major scales? How can we begin to build ideas off of the major pentatonics that we've learned, right? So again, this, in this video, we're only sticking with one scale to make it simple to understand the concepts. So you can take these same concepts and add them to any key that you're playing in because it's going to work just like the major scale sounds like the major scale no matter what note you start on if you start on C you have to make sure you play the right collection of notes that makes it sound like the major scale in C if we were to play in D it's gonna sound a different way that means it's gonna have some different notes but it's gonna still sound the same okay so now that I got that that out of the way let's begin with our major pentatonic for everybody that's on the tenor and soprano saxophone again as a review your major pentatonic scale was without bumping in the stuff over here was F was F G A C D F and your number system for that again is one, two, three, five, six, eight. And now, for those of us who are an alto saxophone, we have again. C, D, E, G, A, C. And that is our, again, one, two, three, five, six, eight. Okay. Now, what I want to get, what, I, what where do I want to begin with this? In the last video, we took the first three notes and we resolved on the one. I mean, we resolved on the third note. We were resolving on the third and the first. We resolved on the third note to begin with. Let's take the first three notes of the major pentatonic, which keep, makes us have the same thing. And if we ended on the one, we got the same thing we got from the last video. So you got two for one special. The last example was actually something that could be scale, could work scalar as well as work in the major pentatonic. All right, so let's try to end. Let's resolve with a different note with the major pentatonic right now on this degree so we can see. Let's resolve with the five. The fifth note of our G major scale is C major scale is G. Our fifth note for the F major scale is C for you other guys. All right, so I'm going to go. We're going to play the first three notes of the major pentatonic scale, and we're going to resolve on the fifth note, which is G. So again, it's. All right, you try. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, you telling me this works, but can it work with 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 a smooth with a smooth jazz track? Absolutely. We're gonna do the same timing that we had before. One, two, three. Three, do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more time. So we see same principle. We walked up our scale, we decided where we were going to start, we decided where we were going to end, and we decided where we were going to put the period, where we were going to resolve. And in doing so, we were able to make a new statement. Same experimentation. Same experiment we did on the last video. New results. Isn't that wonderful? See, like I said, you don't have to be super musical to do this. You just have to have the belief that you can and if you're willing to do some work if you're willing to go come in the lab 
and experiment, you're going to come up with some good concoctions. <laughs> so now, let's turn this thing around. We, we resolved on the G, which is our five. Let's turn around and keep that idea, and let's resolve on the three like we did in the first thing. Keep this idea. But let's resolve on the three now. Let's try that. Here we go. One, two, three. See, you could even hold notes longer and still have make it seem new. But it's the same thing. See, I didn't hold it as long that time. Made a new idea. So there's so many ways to manipulate these beginning statements and do small things afterwards to have new ideas. Maybe I won't hold this note as long. Maybe I'll hold this note a little longer. Maybe I'll resolve on the five. Maybe I'll resolve, on, go to the five and say, nah, I think I'm going to resolve on the three. Now, let's build upon what we just did. What we did, we did the first three notes of the major pentatonic scale. We went to the five. Now, we're keeping the, we kept the five, and we decided we were going to resolve on the three. You following me so far? Okay. So now we're going to, let's keep all those notes. And let's go back and resolve on the one now. Let's see what we get. Two, three. See, I went back to the one and it made it a different idea. Two, three. Sometimes I'm holding the note a little longer or not, but do you see how it's working? Now this time I'm gonna go one, two, three, five, four, one. Here we go. Three. One, two, three, five, three, one. I said four, but it's a three because it's our E on the sax on, on the alto saxophone. All right, one, two, three. So I want to stop right there because it's starting to get exciting to me. And just in case there's anybody who's having a little bit hard time keeping up, I want to go back. Let's review. Before when we was in the major scale, we did the first three notes and we resolved on the third note. So we went. That was idea number one. I did number two, we kept the same thing, but we, decide, we decided to resolve right back on the one. So I know you got that. Then we decided that we were going to go to the second degree. And we decided to resolve on the three. I still did the the the, um, the 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 four two three four four three. So follow me on your on your F major scale. Um, you other soprano and tenor saxophonists. And if I'm not mistaken, we decided to keep that idea and add the one again to resolve. And so we were able to get, um, get another idea, okay? And then I told you, keep trying different things. Go higher. You can go past the first three notes. You can use the first five notes, any degree. Try some of these same things. You can resolve on other notes. But right now, um, the three, the five, and the one seem to be pretty safe places to resolve on. And so you could try that. You could try that. So now we're, we're in this lesson with the major pentatonic. And we took the first three notes of the major pentatonic. 
we added the five. Then we built upon that, and we decided, okay, we're not going to resolve on the five. We're going to resolve on the third note of our scale. And then we decided we're going to build upon that, and now we're going to resolve on our, on our first note. And this time I may manipulate the time. I might not hold it so long. All right, so to make sure we're not lost, I'm going to try to demo all those lines. First idea. Number two. One, two, three. Idea number th three, two, three. Idea number four. Okay, now we're at the major pentatonic. And we're going to go up to the five. First three notes up to five. I'm going to do that one again. Two, three. Now we're going to resolve on the three, two, three. Same idea. We're going to keep that idea and resolve on the one now. So all of that, whew, all of that off of a few simple experiments. So we're going to move on now. We're going to move on now. And I'm going to give you something that you don't have to think about as much. Um, don't forget. Things like vibrato that you heard me do. You heard me do dynamics. You heard me do bends and, and scoops. Add some of that stuff into your ideas. But now what I want to do is, is, is show you how musical the major pentatonic scale can be. And you can just kind of move it around in like a degree type fashion. So when I say move it around in a, de a degree type fashion, playing it the way, the way you know it is number one. Okay, what if I play it from the second degree, like I told you to practice already in the last course? Third degree. So again, when I say degrees, make sure you go back to the last course if you're lost. The last course, we will play all these things from different places, which I call the modes. So I'm playing the same notes, C, D, E, G, A, C, but I'm only playing it from a different position. Now, D, E, G, A, C, D. D, E, G, A, C, D. Same thing starting from E. Same thing starting from G. Same thing starting from A. And now I'm back to the top. So this this is not not a hard thing. It's just moving it around. So if you're having a hard time following me right now, that means that means that you should work on playing your major pentatonic scale from those different positions, as I told you in the other course. And then this will be a piece of cake. All right. So let's just literally play it in order. I'm gonna play the first three positions with the music. And I'm gonna try to be musical with it, see what happens. I'm gonna do it again. I literally played the first three degrees of that scale back to back. 
One and two and three, four. I play that in eighth notes. One, one D e and a two and. And when I came with the second line, I went one D and a two and, one D and a two and. I manipulated it just a little bit more, but it was the same thing, different position. And then I went back to the first time and one and two and three, four and, and I started adding scoots. Let me let y'all see that a little bit closer. One and two and three and. One D and a two and. Kind of with some six things in it. But at the end of the day, it's this. At the end of the day, it's still what we learned. D, E, G, A, C, to back to that D. Now E, G, A, C, D, E, E, G, A, C, D, E. So, so I'm going to demonstrate it again. So I hope that's making sense for you. So you could move around this major pentatonic, still use dynamics, still use vibrato, still use scoops, and you can make stuff happen. What happens if you take the next three modes? Let's take the first, ne the next two. So we're going to be, let's not do three. Let's take the next two. So G, it's going to begin with G, A, C, D, E, G. That's going to be that mode. Then we're going to have A, C, D, E, G, A. Now, if you feel like I'm going too fast, let's just make it slow down. G, A, C, D, E, G. So that is the what? One, two, three, four. That's the fourth degree of, of the major pentatonic. That's our fourth note. So we built that off of the fourth note, playing the major pentatonic. So major pentatonic scale, we're just only starting from the fourth degree of that, which again, you should already know this from the other courses. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with A. A, C, D, E, G, A. <laughs> So that's what's going on with that. Let's see how it works with music. So the major pentatonic scale played in a singer fashion even playing it in the different modes will give you ideas. It'll make it sound like you're really playing some nice things. And again, it's not a whole lot of notes. And again, it's not, it's not um, 
complicated. Now, remember, you can reverse these ideas. So, I said it'll be going from low C, I'm going to go to middle C, C down. One, two. I didn't tell you that earlier, but I want you to get this. Anything you can do coming, going up, you can reverse it. One, two. And all I'm doing is C, A, G, E, D, C. One, two. Now this time, I'm going to reverse D. I'm going to descend from middle D to low D. One, two. Again. One, two. Now, we're going to reverse from middle E all the way down to low E. Same thing. Now, what happens? And I'm going to keep on going because I want to give you content right now. Rewind if you need to rewind. What happens if I reverse what I did coming up? I did the first degree, the second degree, and the third degree coming up. I did them back to back. What happens if I reverse it? Oh, shoot. Now, you see what I just got? Great major pentatonic, first three degrees of it. So again, let me give you those notes. E, D, C, A, D, E. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna give you the rest of the notes. Again, go back, <laughs> go back to the other videos because you, because you should be building this in a progression. So you should know this already. So. Second mode descending. Two, three, and. First mode descending. Two, three, and. So let me try to um, ascend. Descend. Okay, now we finally can get back to where we where I left off where I did the one, two, three. I did the fourth and the fifth degree of, of the other um did I do the fourth? I'm using the number one, two, three, four, but really you know that's your fifth note of the scale because the major pentatonic is the five, but I'm saying your fourth note in order. So that's your G. G A C D E G. And then the next one is A, A to A. So we can we need to work on ascending and descending it. Alright, so let's see what happens with that. sound like you're doing a lot more than what you're doing. Check us out. I kind of kept going and mixing it up, but you see how speed makes it sound like, ooh, you tore it up. It's the same things. It's you being able to take your modes and it's you being able to take some of your scale, your major scale ideas and put them together. Um, so I think on this video, I need to stop because I, I don't want to give you information overload. But I do feel the need to um, take some of these things and try to put them together in a way that you can hear me use it so it'll motivate you more to practice them. Okay? Um, I think the next video will take more of the a combination of the two where we'll take major scale ideas 
and major pentatonic scale ideas and try to put those together. So let me try to demonstrate some of what we went over. This is not for you to play, but it's for you to hear. straight major, major pentatonic. Works better when you play it clean. So, again, work on these scales if they're still kind of gray to you. They're not clean to you. They're not staying in your memory. M get them in memory because in the last course, I, 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 if I didn't tell you, I believe I, I, believe I did, but um, I believe I told you commit it to memory because you don't want I know I told you I don't want you to have to think about these things because now that you're trying to apply stuff like this you need to know what you can use and you should be comfortable using it it should not be a thing that that you're struggling you're struggling just to get the notes out it should be a thing let me uh, that I'm I'm spending more time just trying to get the concept okay now that I got a concept I'm trying to actually do the playing examples that 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 I'm giving you so that's where you should be on this lesson. You should not go past this lesson to the next one if you're still not strong on the things in course two. So make sure you're good on that. Rewind. Take your time with this. There's no rush. Don't, make, don't get anxiety about it because I'm trying to show you simple ways to do things. And so long as you're getting the concept, you're still learning. You're still growing. You're still going to be great people who can improvise, all right? So that's the lesson for this video. Let's get ready for the next one.